to another episode of Wardrobe Wednesdays, where we take you into the costume collection of the confused screenings of Players Patrick Theatre Company. As you may recall, we started Wardrobe Wednesdays earlier this month, looking at the patchwork outfit of Arlecchino, the most well-known character from Commedia dell'arte. So today, as we wrap up this month of April, this really, really long month of April, we thought we'd go over another comedia character, another very well-known type that requires a very specific costume. You may recall last week we looked at 14 costumes for the 14th birthday of the Confused Greenies. One of those costumes we looked at happened to be a modern interpretation of a classic Commedia dell'arte character. That was for our play Without a Clue, a whodunit mystery based a lot on Commedia dell'arte, but as I said, set in modern times. So today, Today we thought we'd look at the ancestor of that character. We go back to classic Commedia dell'arte. We go back and look at one of the well-known characters, the clever Frisani valet of Pedrolino. Of Pedrolino. From some of the earliest Commedia dell'arte scenarios that were compiled by Flaminio Scala in a book that he published in the early 17th century, Petrolino was typically the smartest character seen on stage. He was crafty and wily, and his schemes would resolve the plot to its happiest conclusion. Sometimes he was a prankster, sometimes he was a con man, but it was usually his actions, his plots, his intrigues, his plans, his attempts that would drive most of the overall action. In later works, he lost some of his shine. The spotlight was often stolen by the second Zani, Arlecchino, who is the most famous character in Commedia dell'arte. Other characters, like Columbina and Brigella, often got to be the smart characters, the crafty ones, the tricky ones, the conniving ones. But Pedrolino's influence still lasted. He's still a well-known character from that period, and it's possible that he even evolved into the character of Perrault, who is from, uh, from French theater. Though that characterization is very different, and it's not entirely clear if, how much of an influence it had, but you could really say that the Pedrolino costume may have heavily influenced Perrault and continued on to influence the white-faced sad clown that we see today in circuses and artwork around the world. Like all early Zani, Pedrolino wore, wore baggy white clothes. However, these soon became extremely exaggerated for this particular Zani. And thus, Pedrolino's signature costume was born, known for implausibly long sleeves that obscured the actor's hands. Don't ask me why. I've yet to figure that out, especially for a clever character, why he wore this. The general idea is that the Zani servants couldn't afford better clothing, but this is pretty ridiculous even by Commedia standards. Now, most of the costumes in the troupe, for some time, we could just use existing garb, especially Italian Renaissance garb. Many of us in the troupe are members of the Society for Creative Anachronism, so we already had costumes. These costumes work for anyone who wears a typical outfit in Commedia dell'arte. However, like Arlecchino that we covered in our first episode, we needed something special for Pedrolino. You don't just get sleeves like this off the rack. So in 2012, Deb, who is one of the backstage players of the patchwork, sewed this simple yet effective costume. It's just a basic long tunic with even longer sleeves, completely in white. You might notice something distinctive in our costume. You might not because it's all white. But we have ties to hold the sleeves on. This is similar to how doublets are worn in Italian Renaissance clothing. It's also reminiscent of the ties that we added in the Arlecchino costume. This may not be a feature on traditional Pedrolino costumes, but we found that it added, adds some flexibility to our productions, especially the first play it was used for, where the sleeves were removed in the very final scenes. Speaking of that production, you may think that our traditional Pedrolino costume was constructed for one of our standard Commedia dell'arte plays set in the Italian Renaissance. Nope. It was for a sci-fi parody, Da Troy Hu and the Three Locks of Time, at Marcon 2012. In that play, our bumbling time traveler and his friends get trapped in a metafictional realm that is based off of a Commedia dell'arte play. And to avoid the metafictional realm from collapsing around them, and also destroying the entire multiverse as we know it, it's, it's a complicated plot. They have to act out the parts, including 
including one of the companions becoming Pedrolino. After that, Pedrolino's baggy outfit would appear in more traditional plays, plays that were actually set in the 16th century. These included each of our adaptations of a Flaminia Scala scenario. As we said, Pedrolino is a very important character in those scenarios. We also use the simple costume in some comedies based on the works of the Roman playwright Plautus to represent the clever slave. Now, we did include the character of Pedrolino several times before we had the costumes made, including some of our earliest traditional Comedia dell'arte productions. At that time, we used a baggy patchwork tunic with a long white tunic dress underneath and tried to obscure the hands as much as possible. It wasn't white, but Patrick was a motif, and we tried to make it look fairly baggy, and it worked. Petrolino also showed up in a few modern adaptations, like the aforementioned Without a Clue, which the classic Petrolino sleeves were attached to a modern butler's vest. But Petrolino was also a central character to our first musical production, the Rocky Horror Comedia Show. The contrasting combination of the earl earlier smart, sarcastic valet and the later sad clown Mark Pedrolino as the parody of the character of Rocky Horror himself, especially for those who know that the character did speak in the stage production, but was silent in the movie. It was only after we started writing did we consider the fact that Pedrolino means little Pedro, and Pedro means rock, so Pedrolino, you could say, means a bit rocky. No? No. All right. And that's Pedrolino, a character that we should use much more often, especially for this fabulous costume. Okay, let's get back to my regular clothing. Um, that may be a little hard in these sleeves. So until next week, this has been Wardrobe Wednesdays with the Confused Greenies of Players Patrick Theatre Company. Stay safe, stay at home if you can. If you can't stay home, because you have to go out, especially stay safe. And always remember, laugh while you learn, and learn while you laugh.